All right, all right. We are continuing with Star Wars Week, and today we're going to do Solo. Hey guys, welcome to Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick. This is the show where we talk about movies, music, and TV. And today we're continuing with our Star Wars Week, and I want to do the movie Solo. Now, this movie's taken a lot of knocks, and it's not a bad movie. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. But the reason why I think it didn't get a fair shake is because we didn't really ask for it. None of the Star Wars fandom asked for it. We wanted an Obi-Wan movie. We didn't get it. We wanted Boba Fett movie. We didn't get it. What do they do? They give us Han Solo. We didn't ask for it. But it's not a bad movie. Let's check out Solo. All right, let's talk about Solo, a Star Wars story. This came out in 2018. This is kind of a space western, and it centers around the Star Wars character Han Solo in his younger days. It was directed by Ron Howard and produced by Lucasfilm, distributed by the Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures. Um, it's the second in the Star Wars anthology film series following Rogue One. It stars Alden Ehrenreich as Han Solo with Woody Harrelson, Amelia Clark, Tandy Newton, and Donald Glover. This film explores the early adventures of Han Solo and Chewbacca who join a heist within the criminal underworld 10 years prior to the events of the original Star Wars series. And the reason why I say it's the film that Star Wars fans didn't ask for, we were actually wanting and expecting an Obi-Wan movie. So when Solo was announced, it was like, whoa, okay. Um, all right, we'll give it a shot. Glad I did though. Like I said, it was very entertaining. Solo did gross 393.2 million at the time. This made it the lowest grossing live action Star Wars film and the first to be considered a quote box office bomb. Now, here's the thing. If a movie makes 393 million, is it really a bomb? And I understand that Star Wars movies make upwards of six, seven hundred million, sometimes even a billion, but you can't knock it. And remember, not too many people were expecting anything out of this. I'm of two minds on Alden Ehrenreich's performance as Solo. At times he displays some of the mannerisms of Harrison Ford, but sometimes it doesn't quite come across. I don't have any problem with that because he's playing a younger version. You can assume that he hasn't fully developed into the Han Solo that we all know and love. Woody Harrelson's performance as Beckett comes across a little bit better, um, especially with the little twist in the end that we quote unquote don't see coming, but we do see coming. But what stands out is Donald Glover as Lando Calrissian. He's every bit the part that Billy Dee Williams played in the original trilogy. And he comes across exactly as you would see Lando Calrissian. Now, I mentioned that Ron Howard directed the movie. It was originally directed by Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, but the dreaded creative differences came around and they left the project and Kathleen Kennedy had Ron Howard step in to finish the movie. I would be very curious to see what their version of this film would have been like had they been allowed to continue on with it and make the movie that they wanted to make. And I don't fault them at all because at present day, it's hard to keep track of how many people leave Star Wars projects that are helmed by Kathleen Kennedy due to creative differences. Shouldn't both sides have a clear cut path to what they wanna do and what they wanna accomplish? before any paperwork is signed. Just saying. Anyway, I've got Solo, A Star Wars Story on Blu-ray. 
and it came out in September of 2018 on Blu-ray and DVD. It contains behind the scenes featurettes, deleted scenes, and a round table featuring its cast and director. Scoring this, like I said, we didn't ask for the movie, but I was pleased with the movie. I would give it a 3.25 out of 4. And would I recommend Solo to anyone? You bet I would. And the kicker is, you don't even have to be a Star Wars fan or know all the other movies to watch this movie. And you can still enjoy it. So you see guys, it's not a bad movie at all. Although we didn't ask for it, we didn't really care for it. When we got it, we found out that it was a good movie. It didn't make a billion at the box office like all the other Star Wars movies did, but there's certain mitigating circumstances to that. But overall, Solo is a good, fun movie that happens to be a Star Wars movie. If you haven't checked it out, I definitely say go ahead and check it out. If you're a Star Wars fan, you already know what I'm talking about. All right, that's all the time I have for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. We got a lot more content coming for you. Stay positive, stay blessed. I'll see you again soon.